Essex Police Constable PC Arvin Bambra has been dismissed without notice following a misconduct hearing this week. Bambra was facing allegations relating to five incidents which were using a police system on October the 9th 2022 to access information it should not and that between October the 16th and October the 30th 2022 being stopped by police four times whilst off duty driving his car whilst there were people in the car who had been in or were in possession of cannabis. It was said that Bambra was drug wiped but it provided a negative result so at least he wasn't driving off his nut. Bambra was suspended in October last year and has remained on suspension until his misconduct hearing. Essex Police Chief Constable Ben Julian Harrington said what this former officer has done seriously undermines trust in Essex Police and in the officers who work hard every day to protect and serve the communities they serve. I hope this dismissal shows the public that we will not tolerate this behaviour and to the hard working people in Essex Police that we will deal with those who let them and the public down. We have thousands of officers doing the right things day in day out to protect people and catch criminals. I hold my officers to very high standards and when there are occasions where they fall below those standards we take action. On some occasions that is the result of honest mistakes and when that's the case we help them to learn from those mistakes. But where the behaviour is wrong and falls far short of what we expect of what the public expects we will take decisive and robust action and will not hesitate. XPC Bambra's association to known drug users and his improper use of a police systems is one example of this. We cannot have people who behave like that in our force and today I have dismissed him as a result. Word salad of course. I wonder if chief constables have to take a course in word salad or if they just pick it up as they work their way through the wanks, ranks. Anyway, Bambra was dismissed without notice and will now have their name added to the police's barred list. So all in all, a good result. I'm glad once again that another one bites the dust.